In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to animate your bent or grid cards in Figma so quickly. Let's begin. Firstly, let's figure out what we are going to achieve. Here, as you can see, I have four different cards and together they create this beautiful bento grid. What we are going to create essentially is a hover effect animation. So as soon as I hover over each card, the graphics inside, the elements inside should start animating. So here I have a chart. Here I have this calendar. As you can see, it's animated. And here I have these profile images and these pointers. And finally, here we have these two cards. Before we start animating these cards, make sure to go ahead and grab a copy of this practice file that I already prepared for you from the link in the description so you could follow along easily. All right, here we have our cards and to make them animated, what we need to do is create a component set for every single one of these cards. So let's go ahead and start with this card one. I'm just gonna select it and duplicate it. Hit Control D or Command D. I'm gonna bring it right here and I'm gonna create a component just like this. And I'm gonna click this little icon to add a variant to it to basically create a component set. Perfect, here we have our first component set. I'm just gonna rename it to card one, just like this. We have the default variant, variant two. I'm not gonna change these names, that's fine for now. So basically here we have two states, the default state and the animated state, okay? So we don't need to change the default state obviously, but what we need to do is change this state. What I'm gonna do here is select this chart and using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm gonna move it to the left, just like this. Let's move it a bit to the left, like that. All right, great, for the next step, I'm gonna select these elements. I'm gonna select this circle, hold down the shift key and select this rectangle, this bar, and also these arrows, all of them, and move them to the right side, just like this, okay? I think here is fine. So now I'm gonna reposition these elements. I'm gonna select this top arrow and just decrease its opacity to zero, just like that, to make it invisible. Now I'm gonna select this circle, move it down like this. And also let's select this bar and decrease its height a bit. Okay, very good. And finally, we need to change the color of this text. We need to make it darker since it's the selected state. So since I didn't create a style guide for this project, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly adjust its color like this. Its opacity should be set to 100%. And finally, I'm gonna select this one and just change its color to the lighter version. Perfect. All right, so far so good. Now it's time to create an interaction. So what I'm gonna do is select this first variant, the default variant as our trigger, and then head over to the prototype tab, and I'm gonna connect these two variants, just like this. Here we need to set the trigger to while hovering because this is gonna be a hovering effect, as you remember, and it's gonna be smart animate. And here I'm gonna set it to gentle. And as for the duration, I'm gonna set it to 1200 milliseconds. Keep in mind that your card animation should be subtle and should be quick because you don't want to distract the user. It just needs to make the presentation of the information a bit more interesting, okay? That's the purpose of animating these cards. All right, our first animated card is ready. Now we can move on to the second one. Here I'm going to select this card to duplicate it and we are going to repeat the same process. I'm going to turn it into a component first add a variant to create a component set. And now that we have two variants inside, we can go ahead and adjust the second variant. Here, as you can see, I have this calendar image, okay? And it's cropped, so I can easily head over to the image setting here and just move it around and reposition it however I want. I'm just gonna move it right here like that. And then I'm gonna select this pointer and just move it right there. Great, now I'm gonna select this default variant, head over to the prototype tab and just connect these two, set the trigger to while hovering and smart animate and 1200 milliseconds. We don't need to change the settings anymore. And now let me just select this card five component and just rename it to card two. Before we move on, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our today's sponsor. ProtoPy. ProtoPy is a no-code, high-fidelity prototyping tool that lets designers create interactive and realistic prototypes for mobile, tablet, automotive interfaces, gaming, and more. Whether you're a freelancer or part of a design team, 
Protopie has a plan for you. For individual designers, the basic plan is perfect. Starting at just $25 a month, you get high fidelity prototyping with interactive text fields, camera interactions, voice prototyping, gesture interactions, and more. It includes up to 20 prototypes, 500 megabytes of cloud storage, and seamless developer handoff. For teams and agencies, the Pro Plan offers unlimited prototypes, advanced collaboration features, 5 gigabytes of cloud storage per editor, and Protopie Connect for dynamic multi-device integration. Starting at $67 a month, it's ideal for large-scale collaboration. Protopie Connect is available for both basic and pro plans as an add-on, allowing integration with multiple devices such as Arduino, Logitech G29, Ift webhooks, and more. Even free plan users can try a limited version. Protopie empowers you to bring your design visions to life. Sign up for the basic or pro plan today and use my code in the description for a 10% discount. And now it's time to make this third card animated. So let's repeat the same thing. I'm just going to duplicate it. Hit Ctrl D or Command D. Let me just turn it into a component like this. Add a variant to create a component set. I'm going to rename it to card three and let's see what we need. So for this animation, I want the spacing between these profile images to increase while I'm hovering on this card. And also I want these pointers to move closer to these profile images. Okay. So to do that, I'm just going to select these profile images like this, and I'm going to click on this little icon. You can also click on distribute horizontal spacing like that and just increase the spacing. Now, while they are all selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard. Make sure to hold down the shift key and just align it horizontally to the frame. Perfect. And finally, I'm going to move these pointers like this closer to these profile images one by one. Now, you know what to do. I'm just going to select this default variant, head over to the prototype tab and just connect these two like that change the trigger to while hovering and we just need to leave these settings intact. Okay, now let's move on to our fourth card. I'm just going to duplicate it and just turn it into a component and create a component set like this. Let's rename it to card four. And here what we need to do is just rotate these cards a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to select this one and just adjust the rotation property like this. This one as well, like this, in the opposite direction. And finally, we can just move them around a bit. I'm just going to move it to the right side to increase the gap between them. Okay, I think it looks good. Now let's go ahead and connect them. I'm going to connect these two, change the trigger to while hovering, and everything else should be intact. All right, now let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard and I'm going to create a frame, maybe desktop frame. Let's head over to assets. And from here, I'm going to drag and drop this card one, card two, card three, and finally card four. Let me enlarge my frame. Okay. I'm going to select these four cards. I'm going to hit shift and A to add other layout to them. Let's set the direction of our other layout to wrap like that. And now let's set the gap between these cards to 32 and here should be 32 as well. And finally, I'm just going to decrease the width of this frame. As you can see here, the horizontal resizing option is set to hot content. That's not what we want. I'm just going to decrease it and set it to fixed like this. And I'm going to align it to the center. All right, perfect. We just need to reposition these cards like this. I just selected it and moved it using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Okay, now let's select this desktop frame, change its background color a bit, make it a bit darker, and let's preview it. There we go. The first card is perfectly animated. Now let's move on to the second card. Okay, it's animated as well. What about the third one? It looks very good. And finally, the fourth card. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.